Hello and welcome back to TV, and more specifically, welcome back to another episode of Watch Talk. This is a very impromptu intro because I had originally planned to do this video solely on my day date, but a lot of you will remember my last Watch Talk video in which I was discussing the Tudor Bronze Black Bay Boucher Edition. Now, in that video, as I always do, I mentioned BATB and the chance to win one of these watches. And guess what? I can't believe I'm saying this. Somebody actually won that exact watch off the back of that video. Unbelievable. So I've driven over this morning in the 911T to come and meet the winner, hand over the watch and just get in the mix basically. So the first bit of this video is going to be meeting the winner and handing over the watch. I can't believe he's got one for free. It's absolutely ridiculous because it's a very, very rare watch. And if you don't know about the watch, Go and watch the last video, because it's a very cool piece. Anyway, I'm gonna head inside now, go and meet the winner, hand over the watch, have a little bit of chat, and then we'll get onto the day date talk. Let's go. We're inside BOTB HQ, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got winners all over the wall. People who have won cars. So the watch thing is a relatively new thing for BOTB. They're doing kind of a luxury, kind of more lifestyle segment now, so you can win watches, gadgets, all sorts of stuff. But these are all the people anyway that have been lucky enough to win a car. And it's just bonkers. Imagine winning. Imagine them just turning up and just de delivering a car. So these are literally, because a lot of people say, oh, do people actually win cars? Yes, they do. Mental, anyway, let's go through here. Here he is. Hello. Good morning, <laughs> sir. How, How are, are you? we? Yeah, hold on, I got Oh, you've got to hold, hold yeah, hand. Yeah, let's, okay. let's see that. How are we? You I'm all right? good, I'm good. Tom, I wanted you to meet our winner. This Hello, is mate. Our, How are you doing? Talk. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, how's it going? You buzzing? Yeah, good. You've done very well, mate. That's Thank actually you. ridiculous. Nice one. Okay, so we're here with Aaron, the winner of the watch. I believe the, the watch is somewhere nearby. I'm coming here in. Here he I'm is. Coming in. I'm coming is it in. funky? <laughs> uh, the watch has been brought in. So, yeah, this is kind of a new experience for me. Christiana, you're obviously, uh, you, you surprise people and you actually turned up at Aaron's door. Yeah, we, so what we did is Aaron put the surprise contact details down for his wife, so we right. gave her a call. And she was like, oh my God, she was ecstatic. She said, he's working down the road, doing some plastering at this guy's house. So we had the address, we knew that you were gonna be there. We got yeah. hold of a watch for you, and then obviously we came and surprised you. Just didn't even knock on the door. Just poke oh, yeah, right. he's, he's, he's got no manners, yeah, he'll just be straight in there. Yeah, <laughs> be brilliant. But you've done really well to get hold of one of these, because these watches, I, I don't know whether many people know this, but you can't just go in and buy one of these. They're kind of, you have to be on a waiting list, and you have to be a customer of Boucher and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, you've kind of, you've not only just won a watch, but you kind of just like completely jumped ahead of oh, God knows no. how many people waiting for oh, one no. of these, so. So we, I think we should probably get it out. Yeah, crack it open. Go on, I, I'll oh, do this bit, and Aaron, you, you can do the, uh, you can do the rest. I think the box is slightly different to a lot of them as well. I see, lovely. Yep, we'll have that. That's definitely have that. Very nice, very nice indeed. Just go out to the camera. I've seen it before. But yeah, yeah, hold it up. <laughs> what else have you got in here? Oh yeah, you've got a spare strap as well. So the other cool things about Tudors is that you get spare straps with them. So you've got the fabric strap and obviously you've got the brown leather strap as well. Um, I think personally, I think the strap looks nice. Cool. Yeah, this is the one. But it's nice to have an option, you know, and just not be able to, you know, just wear out one of the straps. You can have both. That's how you don't get that with many watches. Uh, Rolex don't do that. They won't give you two straps. They'll charge you through the nose for that. So that's really cool. And you've got your little warranty card here. You've got your booklet. Um, yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah, I imagine you would, you would I'm be. I'm going to put it on, yeah? yeah oh, yeah, on. of course you can put it on. It's your yeah, watch. Yeah, do it right with it. Put it on your head if you want. <laughs> So you're saying your son's quite a big YouTuber fan, so he watches loads of stuff. He watched the, yeah. was it the Logan Paul and Ken yeah, Sai fight? Yeah, I quite enjoyed that actually. I didn't let on to him that I enjoyed it, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll be Tom in the ring next. Oh, yeah. don't, don't. You versus don't. Archie, that's I what know. we want to see. Yeah, I know. We <laughs> might. Who would your money be on? What, you or Archie? I think Archie would literally just run around trying to avoid <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, that cool. looks awesome. Look at that. Guys did everything, didn't I it? I was saying earlier, actually, before we were on camera, I was saying that because obviously there's a brown version of that as well, and the, the blue version just goes so much better with everything. Yeah. The brown one doesn't actually ever match anything, but that you can wear it jeans, you can wear it smart, like it is. It is a seriously, seriously cool piece. So. Is that why you got yours, Tom? Because you just knew it was versatile. Yeah, really and it's good a good part. investment. You know what? It's nice to put your money into something that you know is just going to be worth more in the future. Yeah. Um, it's nice to know that you haven't just taken a complete hit on it. I'm really quite hot and stuff like that. I, I believe that you can buy stuff that you enjoy and also doesn't doesn't cost you any money in the long run should you ever need to get rid of it. So that those are trading for way more than the retail yeah. price. 
Um, so yeah, you've absolutely nailed it there. I suppose the only difference between you two is you had to buy your watch, whereas you got yours for what? Yeah, okay, don't rub 15p. it in. 15p. <laughs> yeah, don't rub it in. Yep, you, you've saved a few grand then, mate. <laughs> I nailed that. Congrats again. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. Awesome. Thank you. No worries. No worries. Nice Thank one. You. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this has been a new experience for me. You do this kind of stuff all the time, but yeah. Every week. Is, this yeah. is so cool. So cool. Right. So that was Aaron. Anyway, the competition winner of the Tudor. Let's jump back in the 911 and go and see this day date because this is one of my favourite pieces I've ever ever owned, and it is a keeper. I'm really excited to show you this piece. So let's get in and go and take a look. Oh, here we go. Oh, I love this car, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Needs a bit of a, needs a bit of a tidy, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, yeah, so good to be back in the 911T. I use this car way more than probably most of you will realise. Oh, look at it. I'm obsessed with it. Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, so that was BOTB HQ and Aaron Collins picking up his watch that he won. If you want to win your own watch, the links will be below, get in the pot, there's 11 Rolex models and the ticket prices start from 20p with BOTB and the Tudor models, as you just saw me handing to Aaron, the ticket prices start at 15p, so go and get the pot and there's also cash equivalents, there's gadgets, there's all sorts of stuff, so do make sure you check that out. You all know the drill by now, uh, you've got to be 16 or over to enter and you can enter from anywhere in the world, all the T's and C's are on the site, check it out, I think that's that. But anyway, you may have clocked What's going on in front of me here? Something's moving around in there. Uh, I am here today not to talk to you about another Tudor. I'm here to talk to you today about probably my favorite watch or one of my most favorite watches in my collection, if that's even English. I know this is Ollie's favorite. He is, lad. Yeah, you bang on about this one, don't you, lad? I do like it, mate. Okay. Yeah, this one came out of the vault pretty much just for you because you were nagging me about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so without further ado then, this is a Rolex day date. So we're gonna get it out. This is the original box. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Have I presented it in there? No, oh, that's okay. We'll have that. Okay, so what have we got in the box then? First things first then, it is a 1974, I believe it's a 1974, Rolex Day-Date. I wasn't alive then, contrary to popular belief. I'm not actually that old. So it is a Rolex Day-Date, but interestingly, it is a stellar dial. So that means, as you can see already, it's got the very bright green dial. And that is made of a very odd enamel. So Rolex brought these out and these were not popular at the time. No one really wanted these. A lot of people bought them at a cut price and they swapped the dials out. And also the ones that people did buy and kept the dials in, they started cracking. So there's actually not that many of these about. These are like hen's teeth now, absolute hen's teeth. I remember there was an auction a little while back with a company called Philips. Uh, they had a load of day dates going into the auction and these things were fetching 30, 40K all day long. Uh, and this one is particularly rare because it's got gold text on the dial. Uh, I've seen other bright green dials and it doesn't have that. So this one is probably one, one of only a few in the world. And I absolutely love the green. I think it's very, very cool. So the day date then, what's the vibe with the day date? This is a 36 millimeter. This is how the day date started. They are now 40 millimeter in the modern ones, but I think this one, I'll put it on actually. And I'll also compare it to another greenie in my collection, which I'm not talking about today but we'll compare it anyway. So there's a 36 millimeter, so it is quite small, but I think it looks pretty good on the wrist. I've got quite skinny wrists, but yeah, this is the original size for day dates anyway. The modern ones are 40 millimeter. This is 36, I think it looks quite nice. We'll put it on anyway. Yeah. And you might see as well, the bracelet on it, it is a bit flimsy. These presidential bracelets, I mean, this is what, 40 years old now, 44 years old. So they don't fare that well. I will be taking it off the bracelet and putting it on a different strap, which we've got in here, which I'll show you. Um, but the gold bracelets, gold is a soft metal. Over time, they get stretched. They turn into, they turn into ham, basically. So it's, it's seen better days. But anyway, day date. The Rolex day date was introduced in 1956. They brought out, I think it was the 6511 reference. They made that for a year. They then chopped that up into something else. They basically faffed around. The day date was particularly popular and particularly interesting because it was the first watch in the world that had the day at the top and guess what? The date at number three. So it was the first watch in the world to have that and Rolex nailed that. Um, and eventually they brought out the 1803 reference which is this one in 1971. I might be lying about that. 
So anyway, what we got in the box? This one, I've got to be honest with you. So usually, like with this, I get all my watches with full box, full papers, everything from, from the day it was bought. You try finding a Stella dial with a full set. Ain't gonna happen, mate. Get away, you! So this one has got the next best thing. So it's got the original box. It has got an original croc strap with it as well. Let me put that there. Rolex, and then we can see. Very nice brown strap. That was actually what I was wearing this watch on for quite a long time. And I should point out at this point, I've had this watch for three and a half, four years. Uh, and I didn't actually pay a huge amount for it, I'll be honest. Uh, and that's got a little Rolex buckle on it there as well. It's extremely lightweight, extremely comfortable wearing it with that. And it just kind of almost takes the stress out of wearing it. With the bracelet here, you're kind of half worried a lot of the time that someone on a moped is going to stab you in the face for it. Uh, hopefully that won't happen. I've also got a green strap in here that I've not been punchy enough to uh, put it on. This is not a Rolex strap. This is just some piece of bacon I got off of eBay. Um, but interestingly, what we have in here then, we've got service papers, okay? Not the original paperwork that came with the watch. Uh, that's probably lost in someone's attic somewhere. But there we go, it was serviced in November 2014. Uh, and then we've got some of the service parts in here as well. So I believe they changed one of the hands or something. Uh, but crucially, they've left the dial well alone. Uh, did they change one of the hands? I don't even know what's in here. Oh yeah, one of the hands is in there. And they give you the part that they've replaced. I don't know why they did that. But very, very cool. We've also got in the box, I like stuff like this. You've got the original, there we go, original swing tag there. It's got the bloody serial number on it. It's the original swing tag that came on the watch 40 years ago. That would have been sat in the shop window with that. So I think it's very cool. And obviously a couple of, couple of spares for the bracelet as well. That is all we've got. But it is extremely rare to find these with anything other than just the watch, let alone the box and all this kind of stuff. So. This is a very rare example, very rare indeed. And this has just been sat in a vault, really, a lot of the time. And it will be going back into the vault probably fairly soon, just to chill out. And I'll probably, this is gonna be one that I probably end up giving to my kids, to be honest. I'm not gonna sell this one, unless someone slides in my DMs with, I'm gonna offer that. So then, going back to the bracelet, many people refer to these watches as, you know, the presidential. Day date, and that's because Rolex gave a day date to a president of the United States at the time called someone or other Eisenhower. So that's how it got its name. And then from that point, sort of illustrious, uh, well known, wealthy, snooty people were all seen sporting the presidential bracelet. And now these days, rappers go on about them. So yeah, the presidential bracelet has been around, what, 40 odd years. And it's kind of, you can absolutely pick it out a mile away. Sometimes that's a good thing, but. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes it can lead you to being stabbed in the face by a moped rider. Um, so modern day then, Rolex had the Day Date 2, I believe, which is a 41 millimeter. Uh, personally, I think it's kind of lost the charm of the original ones. I personally do not like the 41 millimeter Day Date. Um, I don't think they look very good. And I also think they're not a great investment really either. They don't really hold their cash and they're a little bit crap. Um, we say crap so yeah and also in 2015 as i mentioned earlier rolex brought back the day date as a day date 40 which i do actually quite like there is a day date 40 with a green dial all gold with a presidential bracelet uh, that i believe is an anniversary model that i really really like jay have you got one of those well lad with a chocolate dial lad. chocolate dial you don't have the green dial one oh the white gold one ah uh, you know you're now you're now you're being unpleasant <laughs> no there's a, there's a white gold on the presidential you have, with the green dog. have you got one of those, yeah, boy? Yeah, I've got that one. Okay, mate. Thank you. It's pretty unpleasant, lad, to be honest. I didn't realise you both. Get that quiet. Oh, lad, I don't like it. You know, lad. Yeah, it's nasty stuff, boy. Civilian. Yeah, you are no ordinary civilian at this oh, point. <laughs> um, so that's a little rundown of the day date vibe. Anyway, I prefer the vintage day date. So you can get these with the Stella dial, that's what the bright ones are called. They come in like salmon, uh, aqua. Um, you can get one with a black dial and that's called an onyx dial. Uh, you can get one with a blue dial called a lapis dial, I believe. Uh, there's like wooden dials. There's ones called tiger eye dials. Google all of these, look them up on Chrono24, whatever, because they've done some really, really cool dials that you just don't do in the modern watches. And if you can find those, just hold on to them because the kind of the very weird anomaly models that Rolex brought out back in the day of the kind of timeless models like this, they're worth holding on to because they're just going in price. 
Uh, this, for example, is probably, if I sold this today at auction and the right people were in the room, uh, I'd easily get four times more than I paid for it, which is just potty. I mean, as I say, I'm not going to sell it unless, uh, unless can't pay, take it away, turn up, in which case I will have to get shot of it. Um, but yeah, they, they are cool and they're timeless as well. I mean, it looked good 40 years ago. It's going to look good in the next sort of 20 odd years. There's absolutely no taking away from the fact this is a classic. Um, it's like the Daytona, it's like the Submariner, it's not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a place to put your cash, do get in the pot. But the only one, one word of warning I would say, if you do buy a vintage one, the bracelets do take an absolute hammering. They turn into ham very, very quickly. Um, so I would suggest putting on some sort of crocodile strap just to keep it fresh. Or if you're only wearing it on best occasions, then crack on, keep on the bracelet, do what you like. Uh, I think that's pretty much about it, Oliver, to be honest with you, mate. Good. I think I've talked through it. And this video came about, why I'm talking about this particular watch is because I wore this at the F1 with Mercedes and I got so many DMs asking about this because you saw it on my Instagram stories, you saw it on my Instagram and on my YouTube video when I was pointing at things, you could see you could see it on there. So loads of people were asking about it. And to be honest with you, I think it's one of my coolest watches and I'm more than happy to talk about it. So there we go. Now you know what's going on with this and that's about it really. Um, I haven't mentioned a video game either. <laughs> I know you saw me on the sofa and you panicked. You thought, oh no, he's going to be playing another game. I'm not. Um, but what I want to do at this point is just say thanks again to BO2B for allowing me to go meet the winner. It's a weird feeling, you know, you make videos and you just think, oh, it's just kind of just churning out videos. A few people are going to watch it, whatever. But meeting someone that's actually won £2,800 worth of cool clobber off the back of my video was actually really really nice so do keep getting in the pot do keep winning and who knows you might be unfortunate enough to meet me if you do win so there we go anyway i'll leave all the links below do get clicking do check it out and i'll see you all very good actually if there's a specific watch that you want me to review whether or not you've seen me wearing it or not i can get hold of most watches to do reviews on do butt in in the comments. Do make suggestions because I read every single comment. Whether or not you're being unpleasant, I do read them all. So make sure you get in there. Anyway, from myself, the day date, and Ollie here. Say bye, mate. Bye. Yeah. Uh, ciao. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, do subscribe. Leave a yep in the comments. So I know you've watched it to the end. I like that one. Uh, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.